Hey gamers, welcome. It's Step Games here, and in this tutorial, um, we're gonna continue on our Dark Deception project. Actually, I've already finished the project. You can see. You have an enemy chasing you around. You have a counter. And he has the jump scare, but it's very loud. And yeah. Uh, so I'm going to show you how did I do that. Uh, um, how's it working? It may, um disable the enemy. So I'm gonna find it and disable it. So she, they, she, it won't chase us. Um. Yeah, let's um, let's delete it. We're going to look. Uh, first of all, uh, we have um, we have footsteps. We have this trap. If you if you run into it, you will come back and you will slow down for some seconds. Then see, and now you can run again. Um, also, the enemy can uh, get trapped in there and it will slow us down the enemy. And yeah. Also, there's this fog, which gives a really nice feel to it. Also, a uh, background music. Um, and yeah. I think um, it's, it's pretty much. Um, yeah, everything. I haven't pretty much added a new mechanism. It's all based on what we did in the first episode. But um, let's see. I will show you how it works. So this is the this is the music. It's the Unreal Engine music, but the pitch is 0.3, so it's more scary. Um, maybe I can multiply the volume. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. It's a scary feel to it. The player start here. Um, this uses a matinee. Um, no, I want to open the matinee. Don't convert it. You can think matinee is better. So it does this. This simple um, uh, loop. Don't stop. It does this. Um, when you touch it, it you boom and you're slower. The footsteps. I have four footsteps. These four, and I have a cue made out of these four. Uh, it's slowed down and it's m it looks like this. It picks a random, a random cue. Just go do like this, and you have the out output. You get a random note modulator. This gives a random pitch between 0.2 and 0.3. Volume minimum is six. Volume maximum is eight. So it's really loud. So it's scary. And this is the footstep for the um, monster. I have only a repeating um, this one, looping. Yeah. Um, so let me show you how that works. We're gonna go to our third person character. We want to look here. Um, this is this is we did that already. No, we did not. Um, event take it sends the shards counter. We did that, and if the velocity it and the vector length of the velocity is bigger than thirty, this is the speed. So if the speed is larger than thirty, so if he's running. Is if he's moving, then 0.4 seconds and it will play the um, 
sound and it will get a random float in range. Yeah. Um, and it will play the foot step. And I'm going to check that means every frame it checks and delays for 0.4. Yeah, so now that we have that um, out of the way, mm, um, let me show you the monster how to make the footsteps so we have these two animations third person walk third person run we can see it's with the sound you can see. Um, this works with notifies you can right click you can see where where he's placing his foot on the ground and right click add notify at that exact time and place sound and move it at the exact time and you can select a sound so you can do this that's how I did that um, and yeah that's pretty much it um, yeah so the next thing I did is a trap, which is pretty simple. Let's look in the level blueprint. Um, okay, this is kind of um, this is not. Um, I will explain. So uh, these um, uh, when something touches the box, it will check. If it is, my God, I'm gonna close this. If it is the third person character, if there is no third person character in the box, it will be, it will cast if there's a monster. And if it is the monster, you can, um, it will get the character movement slow him down to 50 play the collapse the bank you know the sound we delay five seconds and he will run again the same for a player it will delay 100 seconds and each two seconds each i mean um 1.2 seconds it will check if um it will slow him down again because the player, if it's slow down, he can press shift and he can run again. So it's with this slow speed delay. If it's on a zero by default, and each 0.2 seconds it gets plus one. If it's 30, he gets released. But if it's not 30 yet, he will again be slowed down. <laughs> yes, and he will be again fast. Um okay, um I think uh there's a box attached to this. You can see there's a box inside. Box collision, this has no collision, this has no collision, yeah. If you get that box right here I can't click it. There's an icon there, I uh, so it's if you go to the work outliner, which you can find in the window section, it is attached. You can just drag it and attach it to trigger box like that. But I'm going to attach it. It was attached to this cube. Let me let me add the monster again. This monster blueprint. Press play. And let's see how it works. Guys, sorry for the jump scare. The jump scare is horrible because come on, come on, bang yourself, bang your no, 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 come on, yeah, you bang him and now he's slow. We can make a run for it now, and yeah, the fog. Let's look at the fog. So, this is done uh, with uh. 
uh, exponential height fog. The atmospheric is for the sky. We don't need that. We want to get the exponential height. We need to have a lid. And um, I I need to find the fog in here. Yeah, I have. You don't have it there. Don't use the atmospheric. It doesn't work. So we'll get the exponential height. It's right here. You can see it. Um, you can um, define some values in here. You have the fog cutoff distance, star distance zero, max opacity. You can make it. Yeah, it can be only like this. So you can change the color. You can change um, more like the density, so it's even bigger fog. I think that's that's almost too big, but I'm gonna make it slower. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you can you can define this, but I want I don't want to mess with it because it's um, I don't want to make it again. So now that we have that, um, I think we can. Um, I think we can call it today's video because we covered everything I did. Um, also, I made I finished I figured out how to make the system to cl to close the game uh, or do to do something when you reach. The shards, it's in here. And Evan take. We're gonna get all actors. Uh, actors, we did that already in the previous episode. If it is equal to zero, um, that uh, still can mean we did that, uh, but it d didn't work because if the index is zero. It can still mean there's one shard because the first index is zero. If there's none, it's also zero. So I did cast to shard underscore blueprint and the object, the object you can see was array element. If, if there is a shard, it goes from here to nowhere. If there is no shard, it sets the shards to zero and it will teleport the player right there to the ending. I did that uh, because that's the end of the game. I don't want to make anything else. Or maybe, I don't know. We can do that sometimes. And yeah, I think that's everything we want to cover in this episode. Thank you guys for your support. Mm. Um, okay, that's not one I want. Uh, um, yeah, let's look at my channel. Um, let's look at the last video. 12 likes, which is insane. I don't know what... I'm just kidding. Um, uh, thanks for the awesome comments. I am really glad that you're enjoying the series and yeah the next episode should come out soon if we hit 20 likes maybe tomorrow or maybe today mm -hmm. and yeah that's all I wanted to show you thanks for watching and bye also I want to say that I'm using a microphone on this one so there shouldn't be much noise but again I don't have um, a stand for it so I need to hold it in my hand but I um, figure out that if I put it under my shirt um, so the only head of the microphone is, head is um, at my mouth it kind of works it's, it's painful though <laughs> because um, yeah it's I need to buy the stand uh, if you guys want to support me 
so I can get a better hardware you can you can go to pay paypal.me slash step games with capital S and G and if you would be so kind you can donate me so I can afford the stand and better software and stuff yeah so thank you guys and bye